in our work uh, we wanted to uh, assess uh, differences of plasma NFL levels among subjective cognitive decline, mild cognitive impairment and Alzheimer's disease patients in order to evaluate the potential role of this peripheral biomarker uh, in prodromal and preclinical phase of Alzheimer's disease. We found that plasma NFL levels are different among uh, these three groups. In particular, in Alzheimer's disease and MCI, uh, NFL are higher than those described and highlighted in uh, subjective cognitive decline. But the most interesting result is that uh, NFL, plasma NFL levels are different uh, depending on the abetha pathology. In particular, when we divided patients according to the amyloid status identified with uh, the analysis of uh, amyloid biomarkers in vivo, we found that MCI carriers of abetha pathology presented higher NFL levels than uh, Mm, those uh, found in uh, MCI, non-carriers of abetha pathology. While the NFL levels were similar between Alzheimer's disease patients and MCI A+, so carriers of abetha pathology. Concerning the subjective cognitive decline patients, uh, SCD, non-carriers of abetha pathology, presented lower NFL levels uh, as compared to MCI non-carriers of abetha pathology, while this difference was not, was not detected between SCD with, uh, po with the positive beta biomarkers and MCI with no uh, amyloid biomarker positivity. Interestingly, we also found that uh, NFL levels uh, were higher in MCI carriers of abetha pathology than those found in MCI non-carriers of abetha pathology. So we might hypothesize that um, NFL levels uh, um, present a specific trend and might describe um, specific neurodegeneration, starting from a limited neural death in SCD, then they uh, reach a peak of increase in prodromal phase, and consequently they uh, reach a plateau in the dementia phase. So uh, the dynamic of neurodegeneration might be described by the uh, differences in, NFL, in plasma NFL levels among these three categories of patients. And uh, um, so we can, uh, we can hypothesize that uh, the differences in plasma NFL levels might be influenced both on cognitive status and also on diabetes pathology because this neurodegeneration might be different according to the presence or not of a beta pathology. So we can suppose that, uh, we can hypothesize that um, in preclinical and prodromal phases of AD, uh, plasma NFL might be a promising biomarker of neurodegeneration in the Alzheimer's disease continuum.